What's up? What's up, people feet team? People Welcome. feet. <laughs> Welcome back to our vlog. And for this episode, we'll be doing uh, cooking again because uh, we're still on lockdown and not can, lockdown. Not, not lockdown, lockdown, but uh, it's very hard to go outside. It's not that yet normal. No, yeah, we're not yet back to that normal that we used to, or that we're used to. So, since we cannot travel yet because we don't want to go out of our places, we'll be doing some cooking. And as you can hear from what I'm doing, I'm speaking in English because uh, I'll be doing a full English vlog for tonight, and <clears throat> we will be cooking chicken tikka masala. Have you ever heard of chicken tikka masala? So if you're interested in Indian food, I will try to cook one for you. This is again my first time cooking this stuff. And the challenge is to make my wife eat it. Because actually, it's not that she doesn't like it that much. It's just that uh, it's hard for her to eat because of the different spices that's in Indian food. So what we're trying to do is eat it. What we're trying to do here is to cook one and we'll try to make her eat it. Okay, so before we start, <coughs> what do we do? <laughs> uh, actually, we marinated the uh, chicken already last night. Hi, what's up? As you heard from my intro a while ago, I will be doing the marination first. I will marinate the chicken here. We have got it already. Ta-da! So, I'm not sure if this is the right cut for the tikka. This is my first time doing it. So, let's see if it will work properly and if it will taste properly. For the ingredients on the marination, I will have the yogurt. The yogurt, the cumin, cumin powder I'm using. I have the garam masala. First time I'm using this one. Yeah. Gar garam masala. Cumin. I have the garam masala here. Yep, and then I have the turmeric powder, turmeric powder, the chili powder, very important part of the chicken tikka masala. I have, I don't have a ginger powder. I'll be using a garlic and ginger paste. Ginger garlic paste. Yes. And, and my salt. pink salt. Which is about to finish. Yes, and also I have the minced garlic. This is very important. Mm -hmm. So the marination part is very very easy. You just have to mix all of the things. Uh, from the recipe that I read, it's around 800 grams of chicken, but I will be using a thousand. So maybe I'll use more of the yogurt and the other stuff. And since we want my very lovely wife to eat this, I will maybe reducing the garam masala because. She's not a very big fan of the Indian food. And we're that's one of the goal why we're trying to cook this chicken tikka masala. So that she'll be able to taste it and experience Indian cuisine, which I love very much. Credits to my Indian friends. Shout out. What's up? So one cup, is this one cup? Yeah. Or should I put more? Put more. More? Okay. Looks like... Uh, Soy. Yeah, like soy. Looks like soy. Okay. Is this fine? Yeah. I think this is fine. Okay. You should add more because you then I will, yeah. I will add more after putting it. I'll put it here. These are mix mixing container. Maybe I'll add two more spoonful of this one. Yeah. Yes. This is just plain yogurt. You can get it at your nearest supermarket. So it's all good. Okay, I'm done with the yogurt. Now I will take all the garlic we minced earlier. I'll put, I'll put it all here. As you can notice, I'm speaking in English so that my African friends and Indian friends and all other foreigner friends can understand what my vlog is all about. This would be my very first full English vlog. So I'm not a very good one when it comes to the English language. So if you find any fault, don't don't blame me, okay? <laughs> or don't bash me please. Okay, I will do the masala last. 
should put salt. This will go like this. Not really measuring it, but according to the recipe I read, it should be one teaspoon only. This is the turmeric. I'll be using maybe one teaspoon for the turmeric. This one teaspoon, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll put a little bit more. And if I after putting all the chicken, if I notice that it is lacking, I will add more, okay? I'll put one teaspoon of chili also. Uh, hopefully, this will not be... Lacking means something's missing? I mean, yeah. To enhance the taste? Yeah, and the marination. If it's not sufficient with the number of chicken, this one teaspoon also, but... I don't want it to be too spicy. What do you think? Should I... Yeah. This fine? Okay, we'll do like this also. And then I have to put the paste as well. We'll get another spoon for the paste. I'm waiting for the garam masala to be the last one. I love ginger, my wife loves ginger, so we'll put more ginger. That's fine, right? Okay, we're good with that one. Let me just close out all my things. Did I add cumin already? No. No, okay. So we'll put cumin next. Well, we'll put one teaspoon also of cumin. Oop. <laughs> okay, it is there. And last but not the least is the garam masala. When the recipe says it needs two tables. Two teaspoon. Maybe I'll just put one. Yeah. Okay. Because we want this to be wife friendly. So now we'll mix it up. Ugh. Looks powdery, colorful. The color seems Indian already. Okay. Let's put on the chicken. How do I put it? I'll just brush it like this. Huh? Okay. I think there's lots of chicken. We put one by one so that we can cover all the chicken. This for my Filipino friends as well. If you guys want to cook uh, something Indian, like Indian cuisine, you can try this chicken tikka masala. Although I'm, I'm. I have a doubt where you can get the garam masala because when I went to the supermarket before or maybe because I don't know it yet at that time but I have not seen this in a Filipino supermarket although here in Dubai there's lot, there are lots of garam masala different brands also right? Yeah. okay so I'm trying to mix it okay so as you can see I'm trying to coat every chicken and I switch to the hands now instead of using the spoon because one thing I learned from my Indian friends is that uh, preparing food with your hands is still better and it will make your food taste better as well so that's what I'm trying to do now and hopefully this would taste like what I'm expecting look ah oh, smells so good even without cooking. Should I taste it? No? Do you? No? What do you um, think? Do you? <laughs> but make sure you will not put it back on the chicken. Tastes good. Okay. So, so here's my finished marinated chicken tikka. We'll put it on the fridge and we'll cook it tomorrow morning. So I'll let it sleep overnight. From the recipe that I read, it says you can marinate it for 10 minutes to an hour. Or if you have lots of time, like what I did right now, you can sit it overnight and cook it the next day. Should we start cooking? You guys ready? Because <laughs> I'm ready. Hopefully it will taste really good. It smells a bit like uh, biryani already. It smells good actually. So hopefully when I cook it, First thing we will do is uh, preheat the oven. 
Oh no, not the oven. <laughs> the stove. Let's preheat the stove. Okay. This one. Okay, perfect. All the other ingredients here prepared already by my very beautiful wife. Shout out to you, Chubby Bunny. <laughs> so we have uh, garlic, ginger, onion, and then uh, tomato sauce. We don't have uh, tomato sauce. And then salt, and then uh, chili powder. We have the coriander powder, garam masala, the secret ingredient to this chicken tikka masala. And then uh, we have turmeric powder and cumin and of course we have the sugar and the cream so that uh, our masala will be cream and parsley and parsley just to add a bit of presentation so we did preheat the pan already and now what i will do is i will cook the marinated chicken okay let's carry it it's a bit heavy so what you need to do is you just have to cook it over the oil oh, this looks young so let's put it there don't need to fully cook it because uh, again you will uh, include it once you're done with the sauce so you just cook it for around two three minutes on both sides hi guys so we're done with the frying of the marinated chicken this is how it looks like actually tasted a few it tastes really good i think it is the turmeric i think i've been successful with the marinade uh, combination so of we the spices? Yes, yeah, so of the spices. We can actually eat it like this. This you can see. <laughs> she saved some for her also. <laughs> so we'll, this will not be included in the sauce. So this is where the tricky part is. This is where the magic happens. The sauce. So I will again preheat the same pan that I used earlier. Same pan? Yes, oh, yeah. Same pan. So I clean it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now instead of using oil, we'll be using butter. It's still actually hot, so we'll just cut a tiny amount of butter. So the first ingredient of the sauce is the butter. Now we'll start sauteing the onion, garlic, and ginger. Let's we'll start with the onion first. We'll add now the ginger. Okay, gingers are there. Garlic. Yes. This will add more flavor to your sauce, I know. I know because I'm a big fan of the onion, garlic, and ginger combination. So we'll just have this cook. It's actually starting to smell good. We'll add the uh, secret ingredients like the Magic powders. Start with the coriander powder. One teaspoon only. Or up to you how much you wanted it. Oh, <laughs> it's so <still> close. <laughs> it is open. It is open. Should I remove it? Yeah, sure. Okay. This needs, needs to be fast. Okay, go. I have to like one teaspoon. But up to you how much you want. Then What's next? Up to put cumin. Cumin. One teaspoon again. This to taste. Okay. We're just pouring it all in. Then I'll take the turmeric. Put it all in. Yay! There goes my turmeric. I'll add more of the turmeric because I like it. And lastly, the garam. This, yeah. she doesn't like this. I'm not very familiar with garam, so I'll just add a little bit of it. Then we'll try to mix it up. Very fast. Very fast. Yes, for just 20 seconds, so it smells. Okay, so we'll add up the Tomato sauce. Yeah. So this one cup. So this, you need to have two cups of it. So two cups. Okay. 
I'll pour the first cup of tomato sauce. Yes! There you go. Then I'll add another one. Yeah. Oh, but we have to put it on low bar first. Okay, so on, I'm gonna help you. Sure, please. Because I'll have to do this in low bar first. Like simmer. You have to simmer the tomato sauce. Ta-da, it's done. It's done? Okay, thank you very much for your help. Put the next one, so yes, like this. The salt first, like salt bay used to do. Ah, uh, will be very salty. Yeah, okay. because it's there too much <laughs> spices. And then we'll put the chili because we want it a little bit spicy. Because that's how the Indians eat it. Should be spicy. If it's not spicy, it's not Indian, right? Do you agree, Danny? <laughs> Perfect. We we'll let it simmer for 10 15 minutes. We just added all the ingredients. Hopefully, it will taste good. Okay. This just looks like spaghetti, so I hope you will eat it also. We'll add the chicken later. Okay. So, we've simmered it. This is how it looks like now. Let me taste it a little bit. Just so. I know if I'm still on the right track. Tastes like tomato. That is a little bit spicy. I think it's good. So, let it cook like that. This is not part of the recipe that I read. But we'll try to add some of the marinated sauce. We'll experiment on this one. So I don't want to waste this marinade, the yogurt and stuff, so we'll add a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Okay. All up to you. More. Sorry. Yep, I think that's it. Then try to put everything. No. No? It really <laughs> unbalanced the taste we're trying to do here. What? So. The sauce, I mean. No. <laughs> Look at his apron. See, even the color turned different. Now what I have to do is I have to... It's a bit sweet. Is Should you... I still add sugar? I don't think so. It's is a bit it sweet? sweet. It is sweet. No need for you to add sugar. Yeah, I think so. Does too. this dish needs to be sweet? Mm, a little bit, yes. The sauce is sweet already. So we'll just it? add a bit. Be one cup of cream, or if you want less calories, use it up. That's what they said, but we'll use one whole cup. Perfect. Are you sure this is one whole cup? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not sure actually. But okay, should I check? What do you think? No need, right? Yeah, anyway, we'll have to eat it. Anyway. Hey, make some of that. Oh, yeah, again. They will not understand what simut means. Not waste. Not waste. <laughs> uh, ding the cream so that my sauce will be creamy and tasty. So we'll just have to mix this one and add the chicken now. Let me just mix it so that the cream will be evenly filled inside it. We'll add all the chicken now. This is the last part. This one, because we didn't add sugar. But you can season the taste. So if you think it's not it's not that spicy and not that sweet, you season it. So we'll add all the chicken together with all its juice back to the pan. And we'll cook it again for I think 8 to 10 minutes. And it will be done. You can serve it. So it is done like this. Mix all the sauce. We'll add a little bit of water later if we think that uh, it is too thick. But for now, we're good. We're, we'll simmer this again and cook for around 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. So I think it's done. Let's see how it looks like. One, two, three. Oh. 
now and just stir it and taste it. Oh, it's so creamy, baby. Lovely. See? I think it is done. Let's taste it and see what else is needed before serving it. I'll get a teaspoon. Good. It is really it good. It's like you're sad. I cannot explain because it's a mixture of taste. So we'll transfer this to our bowl and serve it. So it is in our bowl now for presentation purposes. We'll be adding parsley to it just to put color. I think I did it. So. Here you go, here's my chicken tikka masala. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned something today. And leave a comment. Let me know how how how's my full English vlog, okay? <laughs> you like this or should I turn back to my original language? I mean my mother tongue. So thank you, thank you for watching, thank you. I'll put it up and serve it. Parsley base! Reboff eat final table. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.